Hello everybody, this is Eric Apricot. The Warriors bench squad led by Chris Paul has been an absolute unit and I was really excited last night to see them use a play I've been wanting the Warriors to use for a long time. The stack pick and roll. This play was popularized by the Spanish national team. Here we have uh, Ricky Rubio and also Usman Garuba, one of the new Warriors two-way contracts. Really excited about that guy. Looks like a normal pick and roll. We have the ball handler and we have someone setting a screen. But in a Spain pick and roll, someone else comes to screen the defender of the screener. Here this second screen makes the defender go the long way around. So it takes him longer to recover to Garuba, the roller. And then there's a nice little passing lane and Garuba with the finish. So back to the Warriors game. Chris Paul signals the play. He whacks his fists together which is the standard NBA signal for a stack, which is another name for the Spain pick and roll. So here is the new guy, Trace Jackson Davis. Have I mentioned I have an irrational good feeling about this guy? He's setting a screen for Chris Paul. Here is TJD's defender. This seems to be a cozy 2v2 situation, but Brandon Pajemski, the other rookie, sneaks up behind TJD's defender, and the defender will be scrambling to recover. This is almost perfect. TJD is going to roll free, but nice defensive play, just sticking his arms out, making it a little bit risky to get this pass across. And Chris Paul bails out in mid-air. Pajemski, his own defender, was helping out on Chris Paul, and so he himself cuts to the top. One day when he's more confident, he might shoot this shot. But for now, he reads the situation, so there's a little bit of confusion about which of these two is now on Pajemski and which of these two is guarding Chris Paul. Daniels forces the issue by closing out hard. Kyra Lewis turns to find his man, but Chris Paul has already wandered behind his back to the wing. Pajemski forces Kyra to stay with him by driving past the closeout and he very quickly dishes it to Chris Paul. Chris Paul, he knows that this defender now has to guard Gary Payton II and him. And so Chris Paul does a little Jedi mind trick of ball faking the pass to GP2, and that twitch makes this defender curve towards GP2, which gives Chris Paul enough room to launch the three. Uh, this is actually Chris Paul's first made three of the year. <laughs> Do you think he knows it? He actually points to the bench and he raises his arms in exaggerated triumph. So good call from Steve Kerr to introduce stack pick and roll into the playbook. Chris Paul used the stack pick and roll a lot in Phoenix. Chris Paul again is going to signal this play, lots of pointing, and then he sneaks in a stack or two, bang bang. This time though, Chris Paul is going to call for a, a variation of the stack pick and roll. He's going to tell Trace Jackson Davis to set the second screen. You can see him pointing and talking, and TJD is looking at him saying, you want me to set the second screen? All right, whatever you say, boss. <laughs> TJD even kind of shrugs, and then he makes eye contact. Then he makes eye contact with Pajemski. So TJD sets this down screen for Pajemski coming up to slow down Pajemski's defender. Now the defender is trailing. Pajemski sets the screen. TJD coming up to set a second screen, but he's just gonna turn this into a stagger screen instead of going to screen Pajemski's guy. Why does he want Trace Jackson Davis to be setting the second screen? He wants TJD to be a roll threat so that when Chris Paul turns the corner, this defender is going to have to stay with TJD. And most importantly, this corner defender who's guarding Sharich is going to have to make a decision whether to pick up Chris Paul or stay with Sharich. The defender tries to split the difference by just standing there and waiting for Chris Paul to get to him. Sharich relocates to the wing. Chris Paul with a little dribble handoff. Sharich has a pretty open three-point shot, so the play worked, even if the shot was itself a low-flying brick. One more play. Can you see the play signal? All right, did you see the play signal? This one was a little tricky because even though Chris Paul's calling the shots, he's not the one who signals the play. It's actually Trace Jackson Davis, watch his arms. He's going to whack the fists together, one on top of the other. So it is indeed another stack pick and roll. First screen, Trace Jackson Davis, Daniels says, hey, I'm a lover, not a fighter. I'm just gonna switch to you voluntarily. Here comes the Spain screen by Pajemski, screening TJD's defender. And it looks like this second screen is supposed to spring Chris Paul to the middle. But surprise, there's a twist to this play. Sharich 
is hauling butt up the sideline to set a surprise screen on the left side. Chris Paul now uses the third screen, which forces Sharich's defender to switch on to Chris Paul. Chris Paul likes this matchup, and even if he didn't, he's only got four seconds to shoot, so Chris Paul's shot is faded to miss. But importantly, after Sharich set the screen, he rolled, and now he's got inside position on Larry Nance Jr., which means he's going to have the inside track to getting this offensive rebound. I like how he turns and immediately gets his butt to box out Larry Nance Jr. And weird bounce, but Sharich is right there for it. Nice put back through the contact. Okay, let's wrap up with a celebration audit. Charge muscles this up. They immediately go into muscle man celebration. The warrior's standard celebration when someone muscles a ball up through contact. I like the variety of poses here. Moses Moody sticking with the classic front double biceps pose. Jerome going for something kind of like a most muscular pose. Jerome really leaning into this pose. Veteran Corey Joseph here. I gotta give him credit. He could be moping that he's behind Pajemski, the rookie, in the rotation, but instead he's getting into the celebration. He gets points for enthusiasm, but where is the flex? In some ways, it's not really fair. Moses Moody is a veteran on this team. Jerome Robinson has been on the Santa Cruz team for a long time, so he knows the culture. But oh, coming in at the last second, Corey pulling in his own most muscular flex possibly inspired by seeing these two youngsters showing off their muscle definition. Yes, flex on them, Corey. 